I just got word that my microphone cam, guys. I'm actually, so, I'm hype right now. All right, guys, it's here. Uh, here's my address if you're interested, but yeah. <sighs> this is gonna be so hype. Hey, Arturo, not happy birthday. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what this piece does, but <laughs> can you hear the microphone quality? I don't know if I'm gonna add this. I don't know. These, I, I've always thought these things look stupid, okay? I've already, I've already got this. Why do I need this? But who knows? We'll find out. And here it is. The microphone itself. That's big. That's absolutely massive right there. I've got the little arm all set up. I'm going, I'm going wild here. Uh... Right, guys, I'm now officially, just absolutely officially, I don't, the server needs, like, to be paid for right now. I'm on the free version, uh, kind of laggy right now. But I'm testing the microphone. Uh, honestly, I don't know if it's my earbuds or something, but... I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> I, I, I feel like... Oh... That was almost bad. That was actually, like, almost really bad. I feel like I heard the audio quality just... And thought, oh, that's wild. I don't know, it just sort of sounds like regular audio quality. I don't know, still pretty nice microphone. Still, still alright. Uh, pretty sure it's better than what I had. <laughs> just a quick test just for me, you know, hearing this. This is what my mic originally sounded like, so... Uh... I'm not sure how to feel about what I just heard there, but it almost <laughs> it almost sounded like better audio quality coming from my actual computer, but it was just like quieter. It was like really quiet. Even if it does sound worse, uh, I'm going to use it anyway because like I spent $50 on this, okay? I spent, I spent 50 hard-earned dollars, okay? And it, sound, it sounded better in the reviews, okay? Play, play a clip of the review. And then we'll switch over in three, two, one, go. All right, so this is the audio coming out of the pseudo tech. Also, I look professional with like a microphone arm and two monitors and I don't know, my, my, my setup is, my setup is absolutely insane. Actually, I am noticing now that it's sort of lower down and in the green, um, it's not picking up any background noise, which uh, I guess that's pretty good. I guess that's pretty good. All right, but I think we can all agree that it's like way better than whatever this microphone is. Like, what? I what was this? Like, why did they put a microphone on my wireless earbuds? Like, it absolutely sounds horrible. I, I don't even think I needed a mic to fix this. I probably could have just like, <laughs> I could have just got into settings and switched my default mic to the default mic, you know? I bet you're wondering, a Dungus Hog, Dangus Pig, why, why are you mining obsidian right now? Well, actually, I'm making the entire border wall between Minnesota and Britain out of obsidian. Because, like, I recently, okay, so sometimes I like to poke around in the big obsidian wall, you know, from the world tour. I'm sure you guys, I'm sure you guys, like, all watch that all the way through. Yeah, I, I occasionally, you know, poke into that, you know, pick into that, see, see what's all in there, you know? And it, I found out, oh, somebody's been hollowing it out. Don't worry, I filled it all back in, it's back to normal now. Horrible what these griefers are doing, you know? The griefers, they're trying to take my land, they're trying to take Minnesotan property. Technically, Nick owns this land, but he never plays on the server, so basically I have to enforce all the laws for him. Uh, I'm the military. Like, I'm just saying, our governor does absolutely nothing. I haven't seen him in a long while. I'm just gonna sort of use this as, like, an unofficial episode of the Hardcore series, because I don't feel like playing in that world. That world kind of sucks. The world terrain is boring. I don't have any motivation to play in it. I don't have any build projects. I just want to play media SMP, but I started the series because it's a survival challenge. You know, it's a survival challenge. I want to survive hardcore. But the thing is, it's easy to survive. And uh, <laughs> I have nothing to do. I have absolutely nothing to do in the world. So, I don't know. Potentially might switch over <laughs> the series where I just play Minecraft to media SMP, you know, make more media SMP videos of me playing in this because I like actually play in this world, you know, I actually build stuff. 
but I'm just gonna sort of use this opportunity where I'm, I'm, you know, I'm testing audio quality. I'm testing my microphone. I'm, I'm gonna talk. You know, I'm gonna. I'm going to talk about my channel, you know. Oh, why haven't I been uploading? Oh, I almost jumped in the lava. Why haven't I been uploading? What? It's been like one upload in the last week. What happened? What happened, Dangus Pig? What happened? Make more videos about beatboxing. Oh, don't worry. More beatboxing stuff is here to come with this new microphone. So, yeah, I've just had like absolutely no video ideas it's like actually getting incredibly frustrating i'm feeling like straight out of 2021 again where i where i just had absolutely no video ideas like if i could daily upload i just want a daily upload if i could i would but like i i can't come up with any ideas i've got nothing and i've just started thinking you know Maybe it's because of the type of videos I'm making, you know? Maybe I need to branch out, you know, start looking into different types of videos to make. But then it's like a thing of, well, what other types of videos could I make? I make these videos because these are the fun videos. I don't know what, what other videos would I would make. Would I make animations, movie reviews, gaming videos? I barely play video games. Okay, well, I guess technically this is like a gaming video, but like... I don't know, <laughs> it's just Minecraft. I'm not a real gamer, all I play is Minecraft. My brain is absolutely fried, I've got nothing, there's nothing to do, I don't know what to make. So, but I might just like start forcing myself to try out different video formats just to try something because like, you know, come to think of it, I have been like, sort of working my way, I started working my way into this style of content that I'm doing nowadays, right? I started doing that in like, 2018 that's four years ago you know almost probably it's probably getting closer to almost five years ago that i started doing that so last year that's when i started having trouble that's up until then it was like oh this is easy i i, I was i was only just not making videos because like i i don't know i just wasn't that good at making them fast and actively you know, I wasn't as into that back then, so I could have probably done daily uploads back then. Cause I, I could have, I could have come up with ideas easily. I had, I had so much material. But it's like, what do I do now? I've, do, I feel like I've done everything. You know, I've shaved my eyebrows. I've, I've eaten the one chip challenge twice. Uh, I don't know how much I can do that. Uh, I, I beatboxed, I've done a ton of beatboxing stuff. Random short clips is, that was most of 2020. So it's like actually, it's slightly changed. It's like similar style slightly differently over the last four years with varying amounts of frequency, you know. I did daily uploads 2020, you know, sort of quit that in 2021. Uh, because, well, I didn't really want to quit. I tried doing daily uploads, like, multiple times in 2021, but I just had no, no motivation, because I had no video ideas. But yeah, pretty much this entire time, this entire, like, two weeks where I've only uploaded once in the two weeks, I did the Discord video and then the Nathaniel Bandy Fat TV video, which is just, like, I don't know. I wanted to scrap that video at the end of it. I, I, I just, I just... I don't know, it wasn't my favorite video. Not too happy with the end result there. But I don't know, I just wanted something, you know? I just wanted to get something out, because I have absolutely nothing. I, I I can't think of anything. I mean, a big reason for why, like, I, I know the Beepox videos do good, and it's like, uh, yeah, they do they do very well. Because, like, I'm getting a ton of subscribers from, like, the Real One Rev video. I've got a ton of subscribers in the beatboxing community. So, like, when I make a video on beatboxing, naturally a lot more of my subscribers click it than if, like, it's probably this video. I mean, the beatboxers, they're not going to watch this. They don't care that I got a microphone. So, that that's one, that, that that's like, yeah, beatboxing, funny lots of views uh, at least that's i don't even know if anybody else thinks it's funny that they like do really well i don't know i think it's just like a me thing i haven't heard anybody acknowledge it besides me but also it's like some of the only ideas i've had because like I, i'm getting kind of tired of making beatboxes as a whole you know it's sort of becoming the same thing of oh it's another person who's like this exact same person i made a beatbox on before and then they take forever, and then and then the YBB episode just isn't out for like months and months at a time. I'm waiting so incredibly long. I have so many unreleased beatboxes, and they're absolute fire. So that sort of demotivates me from like doing that. I still need to like do one against Nick. It's, it's gonna be pretty exciting, you know. Nick's YBB is like the only thing I'm excited to come out in. Even though I don't think my beatbox I made in that, I don't know. It's I I think I was too 
focus on Bomberman OC with that. You know, I was trying to, I was trying to do something similar to Bomberman OC. You know, I, I hadn't figured out what beatboxing really was like. You know, I didn't experience. Oh, you don't have to go with some random copyright free beat, which are incredibly f hard to find. Like an actually like somewhat iconic one like Bomberman OC. I just sort of stumbled, I just sort of stumbled upon Bomberman OC. I don't even know how it got there, but, and I can't even find the beat anymore. I don't, I, I think they removed it off the YouTube video editor I have. So I don't, I don't know where to find it. I've been trying to find the instrumental and use it as background music, you know, the Bomberman OC instrumental, but I, I can't find it. It's lost. Uh, if any of you guys like can find it, I don't know if anybody's going to watch this, but it's just, it's called Beat Saber or something. I don't think it's from the actual game Beat Saber because whenever I search it up, it's only the game. I'm trying to find the song. I just want the Bomberman OC background song. But yeah, I'm just generally going to be in the future just sort of trying to experiment with more like different formats, you know. Because, I don't know, I, I'm just completely out of what I'm doing. I've, I've I, Like I said earlier, I'm kind of backtracking a lot, but I've been doing this for s like... Five, almost five years with the types of videos I've been doing and whoa okay well no when I when I hit like five years I'm gonna be have it I would have hit like eight years on YouTube so that means like out of the eight years I would have been doing YouTube only three of them were done doing different sort of style video formats and the 2018 stuff 2017 stuff it was a bit different Actually, the twenty, the twenty nineteen stuff. The, I, I said twenty seventeen earlier, not that. But the twenty nineteen stuff. I don't know. I feel like that's sort of different. Maybe I could experiment more with what I was doing in twenty nineteen. Possibly. I don't know. But that. I didn't really enjoy what I was doing in twenty nineteen. That was kind of. They, they were all right, but the editing process was boring. They weren't very good videos. I try and do weekly. Like that was my one of my, first su successful like trying to like. Do it at a, keeping a decent schedule, you know. Well, actually, no. In the Roblox days, I tried to do, like, twice daily, once daily, multiple times, and that didn't work, because, like, it was easy to make videos back then, but, like, I just could not come up with the video ideas. I just wanted to play games I liked, but, like, for some reason, I didn't play games I liked for those videos. I had to find a new game every time. Besides, like, I occasionally did, like, Assassin or Murder Mystery, which I actually played, but I guess this is somewhat similar to the 2019 stuff in Subway because it's just sort of me talking and putting like images on screen. Those are, those aren't fun to edit. That's my problem. But like I don't know, maybe I could do stuff more stuff in like the format of the John Swan video. I I think that's a pretty good video. I like the end result. You know, it doesn't really have much of my face in it, but uh, neither does my like face uh, Minecraft videos because I don't do face cam so. It doesn't matter, it doesn't need to have my face in every video, but... I also did that sort of similar with, like, the state ranking video. Maybe I could do something more similar to that? I've gotta find, like, something that's lighter on the editing, though, because I can... <sighs> Those videos are good, I like the way they are, but the editing, and um, they're just... They're just so miserable to edit. I don't have any fun while editing those. Like, they're, they're good videos, right? But it's just not fun to edit. So how could I do something? I, that's why I need to figure out. How can I do something sort of similar to that there? But like, make it lighter on the editing, you know? I can just sort of talk, say whatever I want. But I don't have to worry about like, oh, I'm not going to have fun with this later. I'm, I'm going to have an absolutely miserable time later when I'm editing this. Because that'll just like, make me not want to make it, you know? what? What's, I'm not getting paid here. What's the point if I was just like, incredibly boring? And nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna watch it anyways because it's not about beatboxing or Nathaniel Bandy or Fat TV. And I'm definitely not gonna, like, stop entirely what I'm doing. I still wanna, like, do this, but I just need to find something to, like, you know, give me something to make. Because, like, I can still make the content I'm making, just... I need to do it less frequently, you know? I, I need I need something new, I need something new. I don't have, there's very few video ideas I can squeeze out of this content style. And I, I guess I could like change it up slightly cause like 2021, 2022, 2020, 2018, 2019, sort of, 2019 is actually the most different. I guess, I guess I should like not count 2019. That was a very different year besides like on the second channel. But the second channel wasn't really a thing as much as it is now because like 
Well, it <laughs> it started my second channel like went crazy growing in 2020. You know, I I got to 100 subscribers on um, for the second time. That was like actually big. You know, 100 subscribers on two channels. That's that's like what? what? I've only been doing this for a year. It took me like how many years? It took me like three or four years. Not three years to hit the first 100 subscribers on the main channel. But also, I, I had less, a lot less experience back then, so I guess that makes sense. And then obviously, the second channel just absolutely blew up. It just... <laughs> fat, let's have fat TV video, which was like... Just... I used to do a ton of edits. I guess I maybe could make more edits like that. I don't know. I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to think. I don't know if I want to do that. It was, it was alright, but it's not my favorite thing to make. But my, I used to do those, right? The Bald Martin video, that one did actually really good. Maybe I should make those. Those do, like, incredibly well. The Bald Martin video was actually... It passed the hashtag video as my most viewed video uh, for a little while. But then one of my edits. I made it in, like, September of 2020 or something. Early January, actually, January of 2021. That video absolutely blew up. 70,000... I actually, no. I woke up like a hundred views like i woke up like a hundred views on that thing and it was like huh well that, that's crazy I, well i didn't check that video specifically at first but like i you noticed i like, gained like four subscribers because like sometimes when I, when I wake up in the morning well i don't really do this anymore because you know i watch the source of humor when i wake up in the morning now but when, i used to whenever i woke up in the morning you know just go through my channel and watch some of my videos because like i don't know it's just fun i just like watching my videos i'm like the best youtuber so i I, I watch my videos a lot, actually. I do it before I go to bed, and also when I wake up, like... I, I still do it before I go to bed. And then, uh, to capitalize off the Fat TV video getting big, you know, I decided to make a second video, and that video was styled, Fat TV LOL. And that video got 130,000 views, it was absolutely insane. Like, the Middle Eastern children, they, they eat that stuff up. Also, I... <laughs> I looked at my analytics. I don't know where I got Middle East from. <laughs> turns out, turns out that like all the people are from like Southeast Asia, which is just a completely different part of the world. I guess it's still the same continent, but it's also the biggest continent and on like the other side of it. So uh, I take that how you will. I don't know. I might continue saying Middle East because it's kind of funny, but I might change it to be more accurate, you know? It's more like Indonesia, Vietnam, all that all that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, and then, <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. I'm talking about like my subscriber growth, you know? Uh, my second channel just absolutely goes, blows up, goes to 500 subscribers. Uh, <sighs> I get stuck on like the 570s for like so long. I Anytime I gain a subscriber, one of the ones that don't... One of the fat TV viewers that just don't speak English whatsoever decide to unsubscribe. Don't know why they would do that. That's kind of messed up. Why don't they like my content? It's actually making me really insecure, you know? What did I do to Southeast Asia? What did I do to make you unsubscribe? Nothing. Also, don't you worry, Mongolian viewers. Dengis Khan. Dengis Khan is coming. And then I actually, I, after a while, 2021, you know, I actually start growing again. I get to... Around 590 subscribers. This is around early 2022. And then I wake up. Uh, everybody's going on. Nathaniel Bandy got hacked. Nathaniel Bandy got hacked. Set off the sirens. Nathaniel Bandy got hacked. And everybody was like screaming in fear. What happened? Why did the hackers take Nathaniel Bandy? What did they do? They took our hero from us. How are we going to watch the triggered videos? Now we have to watch the angered series instead. We have to watch frustrated. And then Nick comes up to me and he's like, Dangus, you should, Dangles, Dang Dungus Hog, you should make a video saying that you were the one who hacked Nathaniel Bandy to make it seem more real that you're gonna hack the Gamer27 community because like a few days before I had posted that whole video, you know, <laughs> I, that was just sort of a dumb video idea. I was trying to recapture what I did with the first master plan video. That really didn't work. I mean, I had the whole Magnum and Diego thing, and I'm, I'm glad it happened, because without that, th like, without that idea, I wouldn't have, like, made the Nathaniel Bandy video, most likely, saying, I, shut up, shut up, phone, Say saying, I hacked Nathaniel Bandy, and that got me a whole voice acting role. Unlabeled Trex B.
Well, it's definitely not any of the tracks you predicted in your Wave 3 to 6 video. I mean, Ominous Outback and Fruit Cup, why? Only because it's close to the Boomerang Cup? That sure is way easier than predicting a fruit-themed course. Well, it got me to 640 subscribers. 50 subscribers from that. That's actually, like, massive. That's insane. And, you know, I expected staying 600 for, like, really long time. A really long time after that. Because you don't go up 100 subscribers that often. My main channel... Go away! Go... I just... My main channel has been at like 100 subscribers for a really long time, and then for a brief period it actually went over 200. <laughs> yeah. But then somebody unsubscribed and now it's back down to 199, so that's big. Please subscribe to the main channel. It needs a success. Please just get it to 200 subscribers. It needs something. The second channel is so much bigger. But then all the beatboxing stuff starts, right? And then I, you know, I make Bomberman OC. That does pretty well, gets me a few subscribers. Uh, the, <laughs> the Wonder Boy video, that really, that video did blow up, you know, 400 views, that's massive, but like, oh, it did not get me many subscribers. In fact, that actually, <laughs> that, got, that got some people angry at me, cause like, that was like fresh Diamond Jackpot drama, they were like, legit angry at him, you know. How could he do this? He lied about his age! He lied about his age, I'm so upset, I'm so angry! He cheated in a YBB! He cheated, guys! It's illegitimate! You know, real serious allegations right there. But they, and the, that was actually, I was like legit mad, I still am legit mad at Sergeant Enderboy. He actually, he made us lose Diamond Jackmond. Like, Sure, we still have, like, JPW gonna lose because James Simple, he's a good man. He kept it good documenting, you know, we still got that. I haven't heard Gotcha Kid in so long. I, I know it exists out there somewhere, but I haven't found it yet. I haven't looked that much, but I just want to hear Cream's voice in my ears screaming Gotcha Kid. And it was pretty big, you know, on Bomberman OC, I forgot to mention, but I got a comment from Hydro Anime. It's one of the biggest beatboxers in all the beatboxing, and that was like... What? Hydro animates from HYB? That's that's actually massive. That's like eight, that's like 8,000 subscribers. Actually, no, I actually got Hydro coming a little bit before that, because, like, I got, uh, I community posted, and I just added a ton of people. I, did, I copied that and did that again recently, and one of the people I added was Hydro animates, and it was just, like, a picture, actually, of, like, me eating Mac and Cheetos Spicy Edition. Uh, yeah, Hydro commented on that. That was, that was pretty big. I forgot about that, but... I didn't think too much of it, you know? It's just Hydro probably just comments on, like, a ton of smaller beatboxing-related stuff. But then Nick is like, oh, I want to start YBB. By the way, watch Nick's YBB if you haven't. It's absolutely fire. Episode 2 is coming out real soon. It's almost done. Uh, but the right, the one that's out right now is Gamer27 versus Mario Master. So if you want to see that intense battle, you've got you've to check it out. That, I, did, I did some editing work on that. You know, I did some hard work on that. But then when Nick is trying to, like, fill out the roster, you know, get people in that YBB, he's, like, advertising in the Gamer27 server. And then, apparently, Hydro joined the Gamer27 server at some point. I don't know, Gamer27. I guess him I guess him and Hydro are pretty close. He's modding Hydro's chat, but... Hydro's like, yo, Dangus is in this YBB? <sighs> let, let me join and face Dangus. And it's like, what? You're one of the biggest beatboxers. And you're joining Nick's YBB, some guy who's like, he hasn't even been in a beatbox battle before. He's like, completely unknown to the community, he's an absolute nobody, and he just want to join his YBB to face me, Dangus Pig, and it's like, that's kind of weird, that, that's actually straight up kind of weird. But I, I'm fine with it, that's pretty awesome, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. You know, I don't have the best reputation in the YBB community, you know, the beatboxing community. They're like, oh, you're just, you're not a legitimate beatboxer, you're just a meme. You're just the guy who made the Sergeant Wonder Boy video and cried about Diamond Jackmon deleting his channel. But there, there were some people who were like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I met Idol Cube, Idol Cube. I met him through uh, Nick's YBB. Uh, he did some editing on episode one and is also in the YBB. Spoilers, guys, spoilers. Idol Cube's gonna be in the YBB. Leaked. It's got leaked. Idol Cube, your favorite beatboxer, he's gonna be in the YBB. Uh, Gamer27, actually. I'm getting my timeline all messed up here because I'm just sort of, I'm just sort of thinking out loud and I'm, I don't remember the entire story. Gamer27 is like, he discovers my, uh, beatboxing tier list, right? 
And that was that you know that was a pretty good video. And then he DMs me like, "You need to make more of this." And I'm not home. I'm not even in. I'm not even in the right state. I'm in Wisconsin. I'm in a piggly wiggly in Wisconsin. And Gamer Twenty Seven's like, "You need to make another episode of this." So I open I open you cut right, and I just I just start start filming that. I rank Idol Cube in it. And, I guess Idle Keep heard about it through the Gamer27 server just because I ranked him on it because I knew who he was because of Nick's YVB. From that, I get invited to Idle Cube's YVB and then uh, it just spirals out of control. I get invited to a ton of YVBs, um, one of them being the blue guys. Uh, that That's a pretty fire beatbox. My Idle Cube beatbox still is now. JSJ, JSJ, please just make your beatbox already, please. JSJ. Like it's electric switch. The electric switch game on the wind makes the beatbox game is afraid of me. My light switch is actually on. And you know, I, I I find this just kind of funny because even though Hydra is not like not the most popular, you know, 8,000 subscribers is still like pretty big compared to where I am. You know, monetization. But Hydra just acknowledges me, and it's just weird. Like I'm not used to it. Hydra's just like Dengus pig. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here it is, here it is, I just remembered. I started like talking in Hydra's live stream chat and then Hydra was like, What? Dengus pig? Like it was the biggest thing ever. All the beatboxers, they were just all chatting away, you know, having a good time in the Hydro Animates live stream chat. All their messages just getting absolutely ignored by Hydro. But every time I would chat, Hydro would just read out my message like it was just like, Oh yeah, 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 this is like the only message in the chat. Every single one of my messages got read out. Which I I, I thought was pretty awesome, you know. I, 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 gotta, I, I could like just talk and all my messages would be read out. Which is always good for a live stream, you know. What's the, I don't uh, One problem I have with live streams... <gasps> Nobody reads your chat messages, especially in big ones. I guess small ones, people read your chat messages. I just don't have many motivation to watch them and, like, chat in the live stream, you know? I'd rather watch it maybe afterwards when I can, like, pause and stuff. So th that was a pretty enjoyable experience, and that got Hydro more aware of my existence, you know, reminded me, hey, this dangus pig guy actually, like, exists. And then at some point, Hydro, I'm not in HYB, but Hydro just, for some reason, <laughs> adds me to the HYB private server. What? What's that about? I'm not meant to be here. That's the only thing I could think about whenever I open that chat. How did I get here? I'm not meant to be here. This is the private server for one of the most popular YBBs. How, why am I here? That's all. That's the only place Gamer27 talks anymore. You know, he's not in Gamer Gang. You know, he's like, oh, back to hanging out with the beatboxers. When he says that, he's just meaning the HYB private server. Because that guy was so active in there. I cannot believe how people at are actually like that's just like I guess the main community group is what I've heard from like wild foxy's videos and stuff but like why oh it's a private server I guess I guess it's an exclusive club there are people in that server the people in there they're so active they have notifications on by default I don't get that because there's every time a day every single time a day there's somebody talking in there there are people in that server who are level 90 how do you get to level 90? That's like actually insane. And it's not even like a small amount either. There's people in like level, even level 60s and they're like, they're like rank 50 or something. I don't even remember. It's been a while. You know, it's, it's very, it's very weird. You know, I'm just, I'm just chatting in a discord server and then casually. Oh yeah, that's, that's real one Rev. Oh yeah, that's popcorn TV. It's just like all the beatboxers that I've seen, all the famous beatboxers that, that that have been on my screen for oh so long, they're finally just on my personal device. They're on my screen, and I can interact with them. I can I can press buttons, and then they they talk back to me. It's like actually insane. It's so cool. And at some point while I'm in the server, I get added to some like random beatboxer call. It's actually how I met Super Cakey. I knew. I think I got in there through Idle Cube because Idle Cube was in the call. They added Hydra to the group chat, and Hydra only joined, exclusively joined the voice chat in there just because I was in there. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. You know, Hydra is a big Dengus Pig fan, the average Dengus Pig viewer. 
and that was a pretty fun night, you know, Nick was in there, we were, we were just having a fun time. Actually, no, early on, uh, this is another thing relating to Hydro. Hydro just casually, just casually is like, hey guys, should I add Verbal Ace, like, the like actually famous beatboxer guy? And it's like, how are you friends with Verbal Ace on Discord? Like, I don't, I haven't actually watched any of his like beatbox battles because they're like cartoon beatbox battles, kind of boring, kind of boring. I'm in, the, I'm in the for the YouTuber beatbox battles, you know? You know, I didn't seem to be getting in it, like many arguments in the HYB server at some point. While I was in there, I released the Real One Rev video. That's actually, that might be my most viewed beatboxing video at this point. I haven't checked up on it on a while. But it's been growing insanely, and I think it's about to pass the Wonder Boy video. It's gaining me, like, a ton of subscribers. Because of that video, I actually, uh, going back to, like, I guess I kind of got off track and I'm talking about a lot of beatboxing stuff now, but that's video got me pushed over 700 subscribers, which like, how, how? I just got to 600 subscribers this year. How is this happening? I've almost gone up, how, okay, I haven't gone up 200. I've gone up like, I've gone up like 150 subscribers this year, which is absolutely insane. Like it's not as much as last year, but it's like actually more, you know, it's more valuable, because the subscribers can actually speak English and are interested in something that I'm actually somewhat interested in making, which is beatboxing stuff. But yeah, I got banned from the HYB server, and yeah, I don't, I don't think it's fair, I don't think it's fair, I don't even remember what the, there was, we, uh, I don't remember what we were talking about beforehand. Oh yeah, Real One Rev was also involved in this. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. He, he, I never really saw him talk. I think he was getting angry at somebody or something for something. I don't remember. But then at some point I posted the, you know, the classic English breakfast picture. I believe that's in my Spider-Man video uh, where Pup goes. Pup. But yeah, I, I post the English breakfast picture, and I'm I, I'm just doing what I do, you know. I'm just making up allegations, and I'm like, Skullbick sent the the English breakfast picture. I I blocked him because he sent me the, the English breakfast picture. And I don't actually know who this is. It was some mod and like real one rev. I know who real one rev is, obviously. But they were like, you could you could not post that. You could not post the English breakfast in the HYB. And I was arguing like. No, it's for, like, educational purposes. I don't even remember what I was saying. I was just coming up with some dumb argument. It was tired. It was late at night, okay? I was, I was tired. I was just in a little silly, goofy mood. I was, I was kind of being, I was kind of being a little crazy, you know? Then, I don't know who got me, but one of them, the, the one random mod I don't remember the name of and real one rep, I got, I got banned. And I, I, have, I, have, I have a little theory. Now, if you look at real one rev, you can tell that he's he's very British looking, you know, very English, some may say, you know. So why would he of all people be be offended by an, a, just a regular English breakfast, you know? It's what he eats every morning. So I have a theory. This was like right after the real one rev video, not like right after, but like a few days after, you know, maybe maybe even a week. I don't even remember. It was a while ago. I, I believe that real one rev was trying to eliminate me from the community because he knows that I have the Google Doc coming out November 26th by the way I have the Google Doc I have all the information on him he's going to be exposed in the past <laughs> he actually community posted about me on April 24th that was funny like how does that happen how does that I, I it was just some random comments I was making in a sergeant enderboy community post <laughs> in real one rep just community posted about it but yeah that's that's kind of where I am now I mean hydro hydro still like talks to me on occasion actually this is this is, I, I quite enjoyed this I, I quite enjoy whenever hydra just like randomly adds me in a server with like just some random thing <laughs> so in the in the um uh what's it called the blue the blue guy beatbox battle discord server hydra just <laughs> hydra randomly posts this picture right and it's like a reaction face and it's like then it then it shows another picture and it's like some guy <laughs> just some just some random guy <laughs> Where where did this come from? I I did not expect this. Why 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 is one of the most popular beatboxers just taking a picture of some some random guy who looks slightly like me? Honestly, I, it's, it's about my supper time right now. I don't, I don't know. I I was having kind of fun with this, you know. I was having fun just you know talking, you know, talking about YouTube and 
my YouTube career as a beatboxer, you know? But I don't know. It's, it's my it's my supper time. I'm kind of I'm kind of hungry right now. I might I might need I mean I might need to cut this recording short, you know. Everybody watches the vids. Everybody loves the Minecraft clips. When it comes to the best channel, everybody knows what it is. <laughs> this channel is the hottest. Don't agree to follow a disclaimer or just join the bandwagon now and subscribe to Only One Gamer, cuz Only One Gamer. Only one gamer, uh, 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 u